Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the live stream. Uh, today, I've been um, I've been meaning to do this for a long time, which is the RGB mod, but I haven't had the camera for it. So now we have the camera up here, uh, and you can actually see pretty well what's going on. So I'm super psyched about this. We're going to be using my TS100. Um, I think we probably might start off with the big tip, but we'll get there when we get there. First step's going to be disassembly. So y'all don't need to see me in the big screen, so let's flip it over and go down to here. Cool, cool. So here is our infamous B camera, and here is our flipper. I've actually already um, gone ahead and installed the um, RGB uh, firmware. So I have uh, Rogue Master on here with an RGB mod. You can see the screen doesn't work right now, even though it's kind of dirty, but that's all right. Um, so we'll turn this back off. There we go. I like morning chipper. I drink a lot of coffee before these. <laughs> I've been up for a while, actually. Just getting everything dialed in. And I was up for a while, actually, with Conda yesterday, um, getting this all set up. So this is actually kind of a sad, sad moment. I have to take my carbon fiber skin off. It's been on here for a long time. Um, this is actually from Lily. Lily's amazing. But the weirdest thing happened. So... I haven't talked to Lily in a while. I've actually been uh, collecting some bread tags for her. But um, out of the wild, she actually messaged me yesterday asking if I wanted to test out some new skins she's working on. And then we actually decided to do a collaboration. So Lily agreed to make a Talking Sasquatch limited run skin. So I'm super psyched about that. Look to see that coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to have a link in the description or anything yet, but super, super cool. So first things first, let's take the SD card out so I don't forget about it. Am I gonna cut it or peel it? I was debating that. I could just cut it, but where's the seam? I could just cut it. Uh, what do we think, what do we think, what do we think? Uh, I'll cut it. Because it'll be a way better thumbnail, right? Cut the seam. Let's be real careful about this. This is a very sharp knife. So hopefully... This flipper has been through a lot, so a little razor blade action ain't gonna hurt nobody. Although it is tricky. Because I have to make sure everything's visible for you guys. Oh, that's a long cut. That's a long cut. Oh, I'm in the groove. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I think that was a good one. I think that worked. All right. Meticulous. Oh, I can't even see where it is on this one. Can I, like, get a fingernail? Eh. Well, YOLO. Now, I do have another flipper that I'm... If worse comes to worse, I have a backup, but I really don't want to get to that position. Is that all of it? Oh shit, that's not even close. Fuck. Yeah, that one's wrong. Welcome to my, uh, my YouTube channel, where I do everything wrong at least once. Just for the fun of it. I was making the joke that's not really a joke. This, uh, this video is going to be one of two videos. It's going to be uh, how I broke my flipper or cool RGB mod. I do have access to the screw holes, so let's get in there. I've got my iFixit Mako. These things are awesome. I've got every single, every tip that I need for something like this. That's a good one. That grabs real nice. I ain't fishing for nothing. Go. I wish I wanted to use my LTT screwdriver, LTTstore.com, but it's so like, oh my god, this thing's so good. I just sit here and do this for like hours. So that's always fun. Um, all right, let's take this off. And then I should probably grab here, I have whatever. This is the bag for my Logitech camera. Well, there we go. So we have a little, little pad here. Although, actually, I'm not too concerned about it right at the moment. Screws. Let's see, where do I want? Here, let me put chat. Let me put chat over Discord. Don't message me on Discord. I won't be able to see it for a while. There we go. What's up, Bill Nye? Good to see you, my man. I know it's I know it's early. 
show us the knife. This knife is the Jerry Rig Everything um, razor knife. This thing is so sick. Like, it's not cheap. But they had them on sale for like 10 bucks, but these things are awesome. Highly, highly recommend those guys. All right, let's take our screws out. I, Everybody likes to strip these out. I think you're just being like ham-fisted, but I know Bill stripped one out, so I'm not gonna talk shit, because Bill's the man. Unscrew you guys. Yeah, they're just little, little shitty plastic screws. That's kind of how they are. This is not gonna be flipper gore. I will not goreify my flipper. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's such a great pink knife. I love it. Honestly, I bought a green one for work too. Like, I don't know. Getting boring colors is boring. All right, screws out. Screws out, screws out, screws out. Eh. Actually, I could probably, if I can't screw out easily, just yank him with the... Eh, nah, that's not far enough. I do have a magnet. Eh, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Ah. Smash it. Yeah, it's getting caught on a sticker. Come on, piece of crap. Yeah, ah, got him. All right, so take this and move this into the aisle of nowhere so I don't touch it. Okay, so this is mostly gonna open. It's just a little bit glued, glued, a little bit stuck. And this edge is definitely not, not cut right. Man, I, well, great. luckily I've got a new skin coming at some point soon, so we'll fix this. Yeah, I can't even tell where the freaking thing is on there. Like, look. Yeah, it's it's opening. Okay, I should be able to... Okay, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. There it is. That's cut. Yeah, I'm actually psyched the cruise here. Like, I wasn't sure. I was... I was... I'm way late. Way later than I said it was going to be. But, um... I don't know, logistics and getting all this stuff set up. Um, actually, here, let me... Oh, fuck, hold on. Let me go dig. Ugh. Ah. Get in there. Because I have all the guitar picks in the world for this project. Although I do have my favorite one, for the moment at least. It's lost somewhere in the ether of my desk. Well, whatever. What do we got in here? Who's a good one? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this thumb pick, I have a feeling this thumb pick might actually be useful. So we're gonna keep the thumb pick out. Oh, uh, this guy will probably be good. Yeah, blue guy. Nice and thick. Got some chunk to it. What else, what else do I have that's like uber thick? There we go. And this albacore. Albacore? No, that's tuna. Um, what the, what am I thinking? Tortoise shell? Oh, I can't remember what those are called, but whatever. We got that guy. So these are going to be our guitar picks. We'll put these over here for the moment. Um, let's get this thing open. It's a hot dog a sandwich. We're not going into this semantics. This is not Twitch. It's not how this works here. Hey, is my I've got music going on in the background, I believe. I can't hear it. I know you guys can. Is it too loud? Question mark? I actually kind of wish I could hear it, because now it's just silence, so it's just me like literally rambling to because there's nothing else going on <laughs> open you fucking monster come on are you allowed to swear you must be allowed to swear in, in live streams right otherwise aha show me your secrets come on show them to me now Okay, yeah, so this is where you break the pogo pins. This is where you break the pogo pins, because I'm just like, oh, wow, I'm being a monster taking this off. You want it to come off nice and straight, so the pogo pins don't go snap. I heard something open, and here we are. Pogo pin still intact. There we go. Cool. So, I did a thing. Oh, shoot, I have the, here we go, four long screws, open the back cover, lift the NFC antenna. No, we're not going to do that. I'm just reading through the iFixit um, stuff on top, so. Oh, is a flipper a sandwich? Yes, the flipper is a sandwich, because this is the top part, that's the bottom part. It's a, it's effectively a sandwich, I think. 
You broke your pogo pins. Everybody breaks their pogo pins, it seems. Alright, so I've got my twizzers. So we can open these, because I know these need to be opened. Or not. Oh, did we open them on this side? There it is, there it is, yep. Eh. Eh, okay. And real quick, I'm going to restart this recording. Stop. Okay. Start. So the recording format that I'm in right now um, will not, uh, if it corrupts or something, it won't give me partial files. So I, I'm going to, you know, start and stop every once in a while. So yeah. By the way, this is a great chance if anybody's not subbed to the channel right now, if you sub right now, it'll pop up on screen and you'll be a cool kid. Um, I don't like... Yeah, that's not good for that. So let's just use the old thingies. I do have some relatively small pliers. Could use those as well. This seems like it should come out easier. Oh yeah, this guy's like not even in here. There we go. Yeah, is this all the way up? No, it's not. There, now it's up, now it's up, now it's up. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Take out the short screw. All right, cool. We're going to take you out. I lost my screwdriver. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I took my thing off. Nope. All right. Is, what, is the, is the background music too loud? I can't hear it, unfortunately. I did test this, but I wasn't 100% sure. And the mic, I'm trying to... This whole rigmarole is all all too much. Um, here, let me just... T just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, self-conscious now. Um, there we go. Screw. So this needs to come off. And then that needs to come off. Alright, cool. No, we're good, we're good. I don't want to be distracting. Well, I am distracting, but, you know, that's just me. A, and then it looks like B over here, maybe? Do, 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 do. Move the chassis from the top cover. Okay. Okay. Tink. And then remove the chassis from the top cover? Remove the chassis from the top cover. Up, oh, it's coming. It's coming. There she is. Cool. I've removed my chassis from the top cover. All right, this is where you want to make sure you don't kill your get this thing. To... Hey, thank you for the what happened. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Oh wait, okay. Let me. Um, that's not where that's supposed to be. Thanks for pointing out the fact that that's in the wrong spot. Alert box. Cool. Fix that. You're in the middle of the same mod at this moment. Good luck. Alright, cool. That's taken apart. Disconnect the battery. The battery. Disconnecting the battery. Okay, I can do that. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best tool for this. Can I just like... Eh... I don't like that. I'm just gonna fingernail it. Why did I cut my fingernails this morning? I'm like, oh, I'll cut my nails so I'll look, you know, it won't be distracting on stream. And now I'm just like, I can't touch anything. Let's use this and we'll just pop it off with that guy. Blum, blum, wombo. There it is. There it is. Battery disconnected. It does seem wild to me that they're going to be selling replacement screens, but like from everybody I've talked to, they're like, it's kind of hard. So we're going to find out just how hard it is. Why is this so hard to get off of here? Come on. Come on now. I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult. Get out. Hey, there it goes. Cool. Awesome. Battery unplugged. 
Do not use metal screwdriver when prying out battery connectors. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't listen to instructions. We make our own. Well, I'm not doing that. Anyway. Anyway. There's no way I, I bridge those. We're fine. It's, it's a battery. Disconnect ribbon cables. Did that. Disconnect ribbon cable. But I did. What? I did. Okay, whatever. Unscrew the I button board. Didn't break my pogo pins yet. Okay, disconnect this. This is the um, the dex killer right here. You guys highly, highly overestimate how easy it is to blow up a a whoops, the magnet got me. A um stay. A lithium ion battery. I mean, yeah, you can definitely bodge them, but, like, it's not that easy to, to kill it. Alright, remove I-button board. We're out. Remove the I-button board. I'm... I already did that. Shut up. Uh, remove the chassis. Let's take the chassis off. So... Gently rock it back and forth. Oh, that's always... Everybody loves that step. Mm. Gently rocking... Oh, oh, that is it. What do you want me to do? Am I just taking this whole thing apart? What are you what are you trying to tell me? Is that what we're doing? What are we doing? No, no, I don't like this. I Didn't need to remove the I button board. I wanted to be careful because I've heard it's you know a thing that can get broken quite easily At least that's what I've been told. To release the battery chassis, gently rock it back and forth, pulling the two sides apart. Well, fuck. I'm doing that, but like, it looks like there's nothing really holding it together, maybe? I'm just like, sketch. Like, why is it not easy to remove then? Eh. I'm a little concerned. Definitely wiggles, but like, why does it feel like it doesn't want to come? Oh, there's a tab. There's tabs. Why don't they say to like unclick the tabs? Like, just tell me to unclip the tabs. Ow. Where's my other one? This is me being careful, folks, okay? It's early on a Sunday, it's not time for murder. That's later. So that's that tab come off. And then where are the other tabs? Are there more tabs? This screwdriver is a little bit small for what I'm doing, but it'll be okay. Yo, what is going on, Jacoby? Good to see you. I know, well, I, it's, it's, time does not exist in your realm. What is up? Buddy, latest video was absolutely amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. If anybody hasn't gone to, uh, well, you're not subbed to I am Jacoby. Do that right now. Don't close this. Don't close our window. Don't let's. Don't leave me. But, but, make sure. Dude, I just want this to come apart, but I also just don't want it to break. I don't know why it's like not wanting to come apart. I'm a little. Do I have to take the, the orange screw out? Why does it never tell me to take the orange screw out? No, the orange screw stays in. They never take the orange screw out. What the fuck? It just says release the battery child. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. You still have a screw. I know I have the yellow screw, but the yellow screw is apparently not important. Uh, yeah, because this part comes apart. That part's not screwed into that. Or so it seems. Because the orange screw... They do take the orange screw out. Those fucking... Wait, no. That's the other side we're looking at. No, they do take it out. Okay. There's another tab next to the screen. That's not a tab, that's a protector. Tab. Is that it? It's... 
Like, it wants to come apart. It, like, it really does. Like, it's this is what it wants to do right now, but... It does show that screw being removed. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. Do, 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 trying not to break my flipper. Because that's not really attached to anything. Is this tab, like, a thing that's important? Is that holding anything together, or just this part? The screen side up, the left down, what? Screen side up, left down screen. Where? Where is this tab? Was it this guy? Is this what we're talking about? Yes, that's the tech it. Thanks, buddy. There it is. Now... Now we... Separate? Maybe? Mm hmm Man, it sure seems like this screw should not be in here right now. I'm taking that screw out. Like, they don't show removing it, but like, I feel like it's holding this together. I'll put it back in if it's not. Is this holding anything together? No, okay. It's not doing anything. Put it back. Put it back! Emergency! Emergency! Just wiggle it around. Of course that's what Dex says. Oh, okay! Okay! And I drop it. Fucking ham-fisted idiot. Okay. Cool. There it is. Listen to Dex. That's never good advice, though. Well, sometimes. I'll give him sometimes. Alright. Screwdrivers. So I know this guy comes up to disconnect our screen. Actually, let's use something that's not metal and small like that. Is that the side that pulls up or is this one? Actually, why don't we just look at the instructions? Why don't we read the instructions? Fucking idiots. Oh, and then it has you remove that. Uh, I don't really need to, though. Remove that, remove that. This is like a full teardown, so I have to like skip steps. Scoo-doo, Yeah, where does it show me this removing the ribbon cable? Where does it show me removing that ribbon cable? <laughs> if I don't flip my- if I don't break my flipper, what if I do? What if I do? Well, the funny part is, like, legitimately, um, I'm not sure what video would get more views. Would be the breaking the thing, or not breaking it, but either way. Okay, here we go. There's that, there's that, and... Okay, so that goes up this way. This is what I originally thought. Yep, that's open. And then get the little thingies to thingy that. Actually, let me take this off first. I have a feeling this needs to come off first. So how... Screws. Let's unscrews you. See, this, my, my, my screen terminal looks way nicer than all the rest of them. I don't know if everybody already, um, like, fucked theirs up. One. Two. One, two. Is that it? Is that what we have? Eh. Eh. There's a clip right there. Unclip that. Nah. We free? Did we do it? Did I get a high score? Another clip right there, which should try to just kind of come out. Aha! Cool. More stuff. Little screws. I'm running out of places to put all my little screws, but... So one of the cool things about the iFixit kit... I don't know if this is something that they did on purpose or not, but... The 
I'm going to fuck myself over so badly doing this. See how they have uh, the little squares? Well, if you put things in order, this is another step. If you put things in order of steps, you can kind of create a little flow chart of how to put it back together. So you know you have the right screws in the right places. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. Um, okay, so now the ribbon cable comes out and the fun commences, I believe. Ribbon cable's out. <coughs> okay, so. I don't particularly care about this thing that I'm on right now, so I'm not going to worry about getting solder on it or anything like that. So I think step one, I'm going to flux these guys up a little bit, and we're going to try to take as much solder off as possible. Yes, I am very much aware that this is the step of dreams and legends and failures and everything else. So, yes. Now, is this screen actually, like, really attached on top, too? Can I get underneath this? Is this just going to want to pop up on me? It doesn't look like there's much holding us on. Let me pull up. I have every tutorial known to man on here, so. Alright, so if you're not dip 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 bit okay, just all you need to detach is unsolder the two points of the backlight. Let's effin do this. Let's do this. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick this guy. This is gonna be my my first one. We're gonna add some flux. Actually, I don't need to add flux yet. I don't need to add flux yet because um, that's a little big. I'm gonna go to a smaller tip. So I have my handy dandy TS100. This is amazing. Whoops, an amazing soldering iron. Um, it's running Iron OS, so it just has some cool things on it, like the um, display right now will flip if I rotate it. So now it's right side up. Super cool. So, yeah. And I've got my handy dandy, super nice solder sucker. And we're going to try to unsolder some things. So actually, I am going to add a little bit of... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna, I'm just going to do. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. So... Warm you up. Hmm. We're going to move on. Okay. Here, I'm going to grab... Oh, shoot. I forgot to do a bunch of things. I want to put this on. My little clip holds this in place. Um, I'm going to burn myself. I'm in danger. All right. So this is moving around on me. So what we're going to do is actually... And I might have to refocus. I'm going to grab these guys. These I got from AWOC. These guys are freaking awesome. So let me put my soldering iron down in a place where hopefully it doesn't fall on the floor, burn the crap out of something. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Dion. We appreciate you. So we can just kind of set these up on points here, right? So that goes there, that goes there. Eh, be real careful. That goes there. Do I have another point over here? Another round, another circle? Great. Right there. Come on. Ugh, sometimes these magnets are a little a little heavy duty. And that's good enough. Let me get right there. Let's get everything happy and balanced and stuff. Cool. So that's going to hold this, and that's not going to move on me. So these things are re really, really cool. Much appreciated. Thank you, AWOC, for that. Make sure I didn't move. Yeah, I'm going to try as hard as I can to not accidentally move this thing. Because that makes life a lot harder. And then, um, Logitune. 
Let me see if I can do, if this helps at all. This is the manual focus. Do, do. Hey, there we go, that's pretty good. Whoa, that's pretty bad. All right, cool, that's a pretty good view, I think. I'm gonna rotate this so I can get to both of these a little easier. All right, cool. So, and before I do that, always be sure to hydrate. LTTstore.com. Brilliant. So let's get rid of some solder here. Whoop, it moved. See, that's what you gotta be careful of with these a little bit. They work super good, but like, they like kind of settle into places. I think that's good. All right, that's most of it. Shoot, I have to go close my window. My next door neighbor is making lawn noises. All right, no more lawn noises. Uh, I'm soldering iron. Now let me get, I gotta like, man, negotiate, move around. So that looked like it did a pretty clean job getting solder off. I swear, the amount of people that'll fucking rage if this is just like easy. If they just easy mode get this off. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. That's right, AWOC's here. The professionals are here. Let's get this really nice and hot. Flow it well. That's one hit. And actually, I'm gonna do exactly what AWOC said because thing about solder like this is the more times you flow it the harder it is to work with so yeah what AWOC saying is just to do the smart thing which is you can kind of just like use the notches on these to hold it in place as well so we're gonna kind of like do one of these guys Oh yeah, that does, that does work. Man, these things are freaking cool. Freaking cool. All right, so now let's reflow this guy and get my button. Get that nice and flowy. There we go, that's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. So I know this is the, this is the dreaded part because now we got to get this out. Please make sure. Please make sure the flipper does not break. Oh man, uh, let's hope. Let's hope so. Hey, Tom, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching me. Hope. Oh man, I made a mess. That was dumb. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. Hopefully, not break my flipper. Making a mess. It's cool. All right. So that's remove the ribbon cable. Oh, why? This one? Why do I? Okay, I can do that, but why? Dex is like mad about my ribbon cable, apparently. You can burn it. I mean, you can. I could light this whole thing on fire if I wanted to. And here, just for the sake of my own sanity. Ugh, only got a silver Sharpie? Fuck. Whatever. Whatever. Mark it. Now I know that that part is, um, you know, where it's supposed to be. Here's the ribbon cable out. <laughs> Yay. All right. So. Now I need to start working this thing off, right? So. Not really a lot of solder on there right now. Let me pull up. I've got Zebros, the video I helped him edit. Hold this so you guys can see it. So, 
Yeah, it was like a 45 minute long video. I edited it down to like four and a half minutes because it was a lot of it was really boring. All right, so this is that. He's got that. He does this. He does this. Jam guitar pick in between. Jam that fucker in there. And try to solder. Okay. So, let me. Can I like give this a little bit of a crease? There we go. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, there's not a lot of gap in there, so this is a uh, thinner one. I may need a thinner guitar pick. Luckily, I have those. I have a lot of really thin guitar picks. I've lost them. Here they are. And don't mind me reaching over the camera. Thin guitar pick. Thin guitar pick. Where are we? Oh, I know what I want. Where do those ones go? I've got really thin ones. There's so many things in here. These are pretty thin, right? Mm. Yeah, where did where did my actual thin guitar picks go? Oh, whatever. Whatever. So like, I feel like this should be. Is this moving? Can I get this off? Doesn't matter. Yeah, if you break the original backlight, I I get that, but like you know. I want a world record high score this thing. Yeah. So. And there's nothing over here I can really hurt. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't really want to go too easily. It's okay. So what we're gonna just gonna do here. Whoops, I've got them in the wrong grooves. Here we go. Grooves. Groove, groove, groove. We in there, we are in there. Because I'm gonna... Actually... What's that? That's just some glue. You can remove the screen now, actually. That'll make it easier. Oh, yeah? Let me do this real quick. I'm just gonna add some flux. Whoops. This syringe of flux makes a fluxing mess every time I use it. There we go. So the flux will help flow the solder. So hopefully I can pull a little bit more off of it too. So let's do this. Oh shoot, I'm moving my camera. Yell at me if I if I move stuff out of frame. We need a temperature, where to temperature. Nice and flowy. Nice and flowy. Alright. Cool. Clean my soldering iron. All right, cool. So yeah, I know this may not be the most entertaining of things right now, but this is sketch Sketchball Z right here. What attaches the screen? Oh, actually, where's the other one? Okay. Yeah, it just says those things. You need to detach the screen just to unsolder it. So like, what the crap? This doesn't appear to be like attached to anything. So it should just like kind of want to come off, right? Like, are these clips? These clear things? Doesn't really look like it. You can remove the screen now. Like, how? Oh, crap. Oh, I see. This is the actual screen. This is so sketchy feeling. I don't like it. One bit. You used a knife. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This kid's fucking crazy. These kids are crazy these days. They're knives. Because if this cracks, we're in trouble. So we're not going to crack this. We're just going to, like, be cool. Hey! 
screen is off. Where does screen go to be screen safe? Um, screen's gonna go over here. What do I put you on though? Like, what's safe enough for screen? That's like dirty. Fuck. Um, well, what are you gonna do? Where does screen go? Screen go in here, I guess. Flipper Zero Quick Start Guide. Cool. And then I can put it so it sits on an angle. And then you'll be all the way over here. Stay. Cool. Screen's off. Safe safe zone. Now we're safe for work. Now we got this one. Oh, I've got tons of guitar picks. Remove the white sticker thingy. If you damage that, you rip back light. Is this this guy? I can do that. Hold well, on, let me move this out of the way. I feel like I'm like poking the pins in the back. I feel like if I get like an edge of it up, I'll be okay. That glue is fucking hard on there. It's like not that sticky. It's weird. It like moves. Okay, whoop. Yep. Yep. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Cool. That's off. Let me stick this somewhere where I'm not going to lose it, because I feel like we could probably use that again later. Stick. Stay. Cool. Oh, well, you can't... You have to put that... Oh, well, you get all mad about it. What? The whole block? The whole white part? Is that what we're saying? I can put it back. It's no big deal. It's no big deal, bro. The resin thing. Yeah, how does the resin thing come off? Oh, I guess we can just... Yeah, we can just get in there. Okay, I see. I see. Guys are stressing. The pain is real, my guys. Yeah, see, it's a little snug in there, so I've got some thicker picks. I've got this guy. Maybe we'll, like, wedge. Step one, get in there. Step two, get even more in there. Alright, cool. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a scary noise. So, is the white part supposed to come off the back? Yeah, because the white on the back is wanting to stay on there. Like that. Whoops, scary. And then the PCB. So this is pretty much coming off now. And now I'm just held on by the pins, right? But yeah, should I be concerned about the white part on both sides? Is that an issue? Hey, Optimus. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like I'm just held on by the, the pins now, right? So, I mean, should I just... Ah, man, it feels really, really bad if I just, like, yank this thing off. But... Oh god, it's making noises and stuff. It's so scary. But I feel like those pins... Yeah, there's definitely still solder on there. Use the solder side. Got you. Thank you so much, chat, for making all this happen. Because... I have a cheerleading side or section. So that's pretty fun. Alright, so... Where'd my soldering iron go? Astro sticker. Yeah! I have two Astro stickers. Shebang! Astro! And then Astros. Astros everywhere. We're all... It's a big gang, honestly. It's the Astro gang. Gang, gang, Astro. 
Yeah, I really wish I could get, like, under this part. Because that's the part I want to be messing with. Yeah, sending Squatch PCBs to Australia. That would be nice. Customs is annoying, though. Man, like... Yeah, I see what the challenge is here, for sure. Um... Like, I want to just... Actually, let's do this. I wonder if this works. So, let's prop this thing up again. Let's get this as well stabilized as possible, because I'm going to need to do a little bit of violence. Is that pretty strong? That's pretty strong. So, what if we just push it? Cause, is that a thing? If I get lined up right nice here, kind of heat this up, and then just, like, push... What's happening? Oh, I'm melting it. That's new and exciting. Actually, I want to find... Um, yeah, give me a second. I want something good to push it with. I'm being very careful. I knew this was going to be the challenging part. And then, actually, let me whoop do. Oh, we keep moving the thing. I hate that. Sorry, guys. Stop. Start recording new part. Oh, perfect. I got a Robertson bit. I think they're called Robertson. That weird square guy. So, heat. And actually, that's going to give it some more flux. A little bit, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's what everybody was saying, too. Add solder and push. So, where did my solder go? Here, up. Oh, did, did I not pull my solder out? Shoot. Where is my solder? It's in this bag. Where'd I put my solder? Boards. Um, yeah. Where did my solder go? I'm confused now. This is the bag where the solder normally lives. Why is my solder not there? Ah, what the heck? Now I've got stuff everywhere, so I'm sure it's like literally, it's like playing, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Where's Waldo or I Spy, where like, I know it's out here somewhere, but I've lost it. So, let me go, hold on, give me a second. Is it in here? Ugh, I have really bad solder in there. I might have to use that if I can't find my other roll. I swear I pulled it out. Well, whatever. Sometimes you gotta make do. No, I, yeah, I used it like not that long ago. What the crap? Random Chinese solder. We're gonna find out if it sucks. Solder despawned. It did though. It like, the timer ran up and it was like, nope. Man. Yeah, this is, this is good stuff, right? This is the best stuff. We've got Flux Paste. I have Solder Wick. Ah, uh, mother fuck. What happened? I'm so disoriented. Where did I put that? Other solder. Solder Sucker. Hydration Bottle. LTTStore.com. Well, that's annoying. What the crap? Definitely not in this. Definitely not in there. Where else would it be? 
Oh, well, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. So, get back up to temperature. Hello. There we go. Like the the thing is, I know that that solder is just like kicking around somewhere too. God damn, this solder's terrible. Absolutely all of this solder. Oh man, I'm not left-handed. Not left-handed. Don't be scared. Use heaps. I would! I want to use my right solder. I'm still like frantically looking around like I'm gonna find it somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. Yeah, I feel like once I get the pick in there, I should be like stonks, right? Move this out of the way. Heat and pry from underneath. Yeah, I definitely feel like I made a gap, but it's just not. Yeah, I see why everybody. This is definitely the hardest thing to do for sure. Yeah, can't just can't quite get in there. And I can see on the top that there's definitely solder on it, so yeah, I think we're just gonna have to gonna have to go at it. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut like this whole pan is just like turning into mush. I don't know exactly what's up with it. It's weird. Uh, let me keep this over here and let me grab like this guy. Cut it. Yeah, I was thinking about cutting it. Yeah, there's literally like nothing. I don't it like disappears into ether. At this point, I might as well snip it. I don't know what's going on. If I can just get an edge up, I'll be fine. Let me work the other one a little bit. Cuz again, if I can just get an edge up. Uh-oh, that did it. That did it. Yep. Yeah, I felt it move. Right? <clears throat> Am I making shit up? Please don't be making shit up. Yup, there it is. I got the edge. You can see it right there. Once you get in there, you're in there, so, cool. Oh my god, these things, if you don't have these things, fucking get these things. These things are amazing. Oh no, it reflowed and then it came out. Heh, <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure I'm like out. Pretty 
pretty sure I'm like out, but that's out. And okay. Hey Lily, what's up? No, I just don't want to like break it. Not break it. I just don't want to like smash this thing into the bottom here. Is this too tall? A hey, perfect. Thanks, flipper packing material. Coming in clutch, my guys. This is a TS100, but it might as well be a pencil. I think we're off. I don't know what's holding it on right now, but I think we're off. Sure looks like it. We're like 80% off here. To infinity and then some. Uh, I'm not quite off. Not quite, but close enough. Close enough where we can just give it the old wiggle waggle, I think. Um, just get this kind of sitting here. Just like, can I just burn the crap out of myself? Yep. Yep, we're out. I can't believe we've done this and survived. Yep. And then, yeah, the. Infamous, ah shit, don't touch things. The infamous white shit. Finally, you telling me. You have. You only have to watch this. I have to exist. Ugh. Got him. Nicky board. Ow. Stabbing Zimi. Okay, cool. So, now that we have successfully not fucked ourselves, I'm going to keep holding this. Actually, let me get myself get these fucking stabby guys out of here. This doesn't need to sit on anything fancy. So this is on here. Step next. Where are we at? White reflector from the screen backside. Pull original. Deep, deep, do, 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 do. solder jumpers, do all this stuff, but how do I take this off? Do I just violence it off? Do I just exert the violence? I have violence. I can have, can has violence. But it's like under there, so this just like pulls out this way? Where's my pliers? Yeah, because nobody really talks about how to get that part off. So once we get here, where's, where's Zebra? Here's Zebra. Oh God, Jesus Christ, man. This video, Zebra's video is like so violent. He's just like, nyr, nyr, stab away. But I guess that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if it matters which way this comes out. Lift the backing and show what's underneath? Oh yeah, that's what the backing looks like. There's not really much underneath there. Okay, so yeah, it just looks like it pulls out, kind of. Let me actually, I'm gonna fuck up my adhesive. Arg. Ugh. Is this glued on? <laughs> Oh god, I hate it. Watching Zebra. Yeah, he just rips it out like a freaking savage. Oh god, I dropped it a little bit. We're good. We're good. It's, it lives. We're fine. Carry on. Yeah, these plastic clips. Like, do they actually hold this thing in place? Is there a certain way... Yeah, that's clipped that way, so it seems like they should just pull straight up, right? Mm. 
Do I have ESD protection? Um, currently, no. Yeah, how is this actually attached? It doesn't seem to be attached very well. Yeah, it's just the pins. Yeah, so this should just come out. Oh no, Flippy's fine. Don't worry about Flippy. Flippy going through a little bit of a, of a life change, but Flippy gonna be fine. Flippy's gonna be fabulous. It's gonna be the best thing that's ever happened to it. Yeah, how does this come out of here? Like, I could break it. Oop. Yeah, I see. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh god, the sounds that nobody wants to hear. Yeah, like, how does this come out? So where's my, here's my other one. So this is the one that's, the re this is the, the no one that doesn't have LEDs on it. So this is like effectively useless kind of. Yeah, and we're gonna have to clip this back in to there. So how does this go on? That's the question. Is it just the sticker that's holding it in place? Ah! Came out! <laughs> Woo! Alright! That was freaking sketchy. That was freaking sketchy. Okay, we did it. We succeeded. Hey, Amelia, what is going on? Alright, we've gotten the screen off. We've gotten the LCD off. LCD, whatever. We got the LEDs off. So, and I've lost my fucking solder. Like, maybe I put it in here? No, this is, well, actually, ah, it's my solder. When we were testing this the other day, I put it in the wrong box. The box, is, it says bedroom lights, because that's what's in here. Bedroom lights, cool. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, put you here, put you here. So, now, um, where's my arm? Put these away for the moment. These things are so cool. You're just like, wee! Love those. All right, give me an arm. I'm gonna screw my arm on. This is gonna look weird. Yep. 52 concurrent viewers, oh my God. If I break this, at least I break it in front of an audience. But we're past the sketch stage, so I think we'll live. Let's screw my arm, my arm on. Get in there. Oh yeah, I breathe in so much solder. I don't care. Things happen. Yeah, I'll have to clean this board off a little bit, but that should be no big deal. There's some extra solder there, but yeah, that wasn't that bad. I am also being very, very careful. So, you know. Not like Dex. Screw this on better. Screw this on better. Get in there. Good. All right. Cool. So let's grab our actual board with the actual things on it. And let's start putting things on it. So this looks like... I'm careful, I can clip it right, like, ugh, actually. Right, let's put this on top, let's do this. Okay. Nah. Okay. 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 Alright. Do, 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 do. Get me some wire. I'm using 30 gauge because I'm honestly. I'm honestly not talking into the microphone right now. I'm honestly pretty uh, pretty careful, and I'm pretty used to using the 30 gauge. I use it for all my projects, so that's what we're gonna use. So let's cut ourselves 
One, two, three, thirty gauges. Actually, I think I need four, but I think I'll have enough left over. Um, cool. Let's put this over here. And we're going to put some solder on. So, cool, cool, cool. Let's strip these guys. One. Two. And yeah, if you guys haven't subbed yet, <laughs> right there. It pops right up there. What's going on, Jeffrey? Thanks for subbing. Thanks for watching this whole project. It's the RGB I Might Break My Flipper mod. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, let's make some stuff go on some other stuff. I've got you. I've got... Ugh. Look at this. This is what always happens with this... Little, little slug. Eh. Eh. Gotta clean this off. Hold on. Ah! Fuck. Here we go. We're just gonna apply a very small amount of flux. That's like the smallest amount of flux humanly possible. That's how much, how many flux I give. The least amount humanly possible. All right. Let's do that. Let us, um, actually, let me move some stuff out of the way. Put that there. Um, and then let's add a little solder to use. Actually, let me clean this off too. So there is already some so old solder on here because we were testing this. So let's get that nice and clean. Whoops. Whoops. Ugh. So fun story, I forgot to bring alcohol home so I don't have any electronic cleaner. So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda be dirty, I guess. One pillow. Beautiful. The pillows. The pillows are so nice. Yeah, don't melt don't melt Astro. It's against the rules. Astro will boil you. Oh god, this is gonna be a little fun. Um tweezers. Tweezers should help everything. Okay, yeah. We can do this. We can do this. This is not the angle I want this. There we go. Whoops, I pressed the space bar. Does the space bar do anything? No. Cool. Nope. Fucked up. Fuck up. Oh man, I keep moving. I lost my wire. Yeah, I'll tin the wires. I didn't tin that. I thought I'd get away with it, but I have way too many things on this counter. Um, let me just, yeah, I can, t Jesus Christ, I'm running into so many, so many problems here. All right, here's some solder. Let's tin wire with said solder. There we go. Actually, let me clip that. Ah, fuck it, that's fine. Tin solder, tin wire, and then attach A to B, and then attach A to B. Man, this is shitty fucking solder. There it is. There it is. Clean the tip. Back off, Lily. I can do this as poorly as I want to. Whoops. Actually, that's way too long. Let's clip that a little bit. Try not moving while it's cooling. That's a brilliant idea. I will definitely try that this time. I will absolutely give that the 110%. 
Whoops, it's too short. I'm doing everything like with the opposite hands that I should be right now, so it's you know increasingly annoying. Yep. Good enough. Yeah, I could just use another another clip. I could. I probably should. Let's pretend you a little bit. And then. Yeah, because it's like, it's so awkward that it's like nearly impossible to like stabilize. Ugh, I can't reach that way. Let me switch hands. Switching hands will be fine. Go back. See? Got it. Got it. And now we need the control. Make sure I'm not clipping the capacitors. Make sure I'm not clipping the capacitors. All right. Do, 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 do. We're getting this done. Tinning you, tinning my tip. Oops, tinning my, oh, there's already solder on there, so that's fine. A, when it goes right the first time. Cool. So, we've got our, our Rasta card here. Good. So now what I'm doing. Alrighty, do 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 go do things and do some shit. Did I strip the other ends? Not yet, because I want to figure out the lengths of them first. Then I will. Fuck. And screw the wrong part. Damn it! Oh, I hate when that happens. Fuck you. Well, looks like that's what's going on. Let's restart my recording. Take care, Agwok. Good to see you. Always good to see you around. Yeah, I can pinch it without stripping it, but I'm concerned about, like, literally breaking the wire. Man, hold on. I have to fix this. Grab actual screwdriver. And there's nothing on here anymore. Good. Come on. Can we not be a pain in the ass just for once? Just for once. There we go. Fucking bitch. Get out of there. Get. What? Stop. It refuses to come off. I don't know how it's attached so well, but it's like... There it is. Uh-oh. What? What are you guys yelling at me for? Why am I soldering the PCB? I just need the control wire soldered. Oh, that's right. That's right. Stupid. Yeah, you're right. Oh well. Let's take those off. Now I need the arm back. That sucks. I'm like, yeah, I'm like zoning out here because I did the, um, the other thing was zero. So yeah, that was stupid. I agree. That was dumb. Let's undo those. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. There we come to save the derp. If I didn't do it wrong, if I didn't do it wrong, open up Discord. Hold on. I have Discord hidden right now, anyway. Hold on. All right, those are nice and clean. Yeah, you can send me whatever you want, Lily. 
I will not complain about anything. Six. I have six messages from Zebra. Remove the reflector. Which one? The one on the back? Oh, now I lost my stream. See? Now I don't know what's going on. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. And yeah, Zebra, what do you want about? It says remove the reflector. I can't see Discord because I have too many things over here. Hold on, I'm reading Zebras. When you're removing the old one, which one? What are we talking about? I don't know what the reflector is, dude. What's the reflector? Yeah, I removed the old backlight. The old backlight's off. You're good. It's gone. Backlight sticker thingy. What the f which one? This thing? Should I remove that? The f is that what you're talking about? Chat in, chat in YouTube. Holy crap, dude. I can't tell what you're saying. I should remove that entirely. Why does it not say that anywhere in any of the instructions? Oh, wait. Remove the white reflector from the screen and pull the original. Okay. Okay, so we're just leaving this entirely off? Is that the idea? God damn. See? Okay. Yeah, Amelia says don't worry about it. Whatever. Reflector's off. It's like, I don't know. It's off now. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, like, why am I removing this? Just, <laughs> God damn, it's... Instructions unclear. Alright, so this is the old screen. But it's easier. It's not easier. These things are not, not necessary. So, first of all... Which way does this PCB go? Positive... Doesn't really say. Hold on. Let me just attach this in here first. Alright, um, no need to cut plastic parts. Uh, solder a jumper wire to the control PCB. Okay. LEDs go up. So screens here. LEDs go up. That makes sense. So this must go on like this. Now, this one has the clip here, so the control wires and the control parts in the way, right? Am I gonna have to cut this down? Because I know it says on the instructions to cut it down, but. Let's see. Remove right reflector from backside, pull that off, solder jumper wire onto there. There's no need to cut the packs. You can pass the control wire under the screen flat cable. Um, does it slide in? Like, not with the wire attached like that, though. Should I resolder the wire, like, in a different orientation? Because, yeah, right now, the wire's in the way. It's not going to want to slide into anything, I don't think. Yeah, because that's where this wire goes. Instructions unclear. See how Zebro does it in this video of gore and horror. Yeah, there's like no mention of that in here at all. I have too much solder on it. I can take solder off. Oh, shit. All right, I can trim the wire down. adhesive from sticking to stuff. Yeah, let me pull all this solder off there. Wire's too short? 
How is the wire too short? It seems like it shouldn't be. Fuck. I need to reattach stuff. You, yeah, the instructions. You can't... You're gonna want to, like, touch those up a little bit. On a few parts of it. Here, I've got a longer wire right here. I'll use that to start with. That's pretty long. Cool. Let's grab it right. Hey, thanks for the sub, Brian. Appreciate you. So we want as little solder as humanly possible. This is the wrong side. Arg. There's all the solder. There's no solder on that anymore. None. So figure out my solder, my wire length, and then install. Okay. Well, let's do this too. Let's clean these out while we're here. A little bit there. A little bit there. Let's clean all this up. It's also like pretty, it's, I've got like four different versions of the instructions going at the same time. Every person is like, do this, do this, do this. I'm figuring it out. I'll get there somewhere, hopefully. There we go. That pad's clean. Clean you off. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? How did that open? That was weird. Some in there. Solder coming out. I might need to use my. Yep, nope, there we go. I do have a uh, ribbon, but. Alright, that seems good. Let's make sure my PCB fits in here. Tab should go through. Otherwise, we'll have to clean these up some more. Yeah, let's clean those up some more. There's definitely still flux in there. So let's do this. Ask you snail, Let's see the snails. clean this thing up. I have solder wick. I might have to use that. Clean the other side. Yeah, because that's getting kind of dirty. Not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. Honestly. On a scale of one to too bad, it's definitely not. And then, where did I put my solder wick? I had some. 
That's the problem with having all this stuff out on a desk. Like, here, nope, that's flux. That's another soldering point. Yeah, scrap wire and flux, probably. I was trying to find my uh, my solder wire, but this shit's gone, apparently. A little bit more flux. Way too much flux, but whatever. Where the fuck did the solder wick? Everything just disappears in this place. There's too much stuff. Like, that's gotta be clean enough. Right, does it fit? Or does it not fit? That fits, that fits. Okay, that fits in now, cool. That fits just fine. So that's done. All right, so now what are we doing? Pull that out, I get that. Solder a jumper wire to the new PCB, so let's do that real quick. And according to where this is gonna be, that needs to be way back here, which I did not know before. So we're gonna tie, solder a long wire, and I'll cut it down. Here, I'll cut a longer wire, since y'all seem to be really, really concerned about wire length here for some reason. Here, big ass wire, cool, there you go. Strip one side. There we go. And then we want this to be like this, like right here, as far over to this edge as humanly possible, with as little solder as humanly possible, it looks like. So, let's tin this with the thin solder, since this stuff is like literally nothing. Smallest pad in the world. And then let's put this right over near the edge here. Whoops. That's on, and that's not a lot of solder. On and not a lot of solder. Good. Good. Where's my side cutters go? Take that guy off. So that should be good. Let's attach it to the screen and then put that on. Take this off. So we're gonna take this, put this in the screen. So there's the screen. This side must be, no, it goes like this, right? Yeah, it goes like this. And then this goes like this. Under here. Right, that's the right side. under like that and that goes under like that perfect it fits perfectly there right right now grab this guy put this on like this we're gonna put this back on brilliant so this goes down like this it goes there and there right up against the edges oops it's a little wrong And then that's on. Cool. Let me open my window. It's hot as fucking here. All 
All right, cool. Now we're back in the game. That's going to work. That's going to work. That's going to work. That's good there. Get my flux off of here. Just wipe it off with my fingers since I don't have anything better to do it with. There's got to be a paper towel in here, right? Yeah. Wipe it off. Good, good, good. Good enough. Don't break my coil on the CC2011. Or, 20, or CC1101. Why am I calling it 2011? Who the fuck it? What is this? What? What is this? Okay. So we're going to tuck this kind of around, I think. That's going to go in like that. And then that'll stay on like there. Now I feel like I should probably... Right, that bridge is there. So this is going to go to Vibro, which is that pin right there. Now... Yeah, why don't I just cut it now? That's fine. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Yeah, I'd rather cut it now, if I'm being totally honest. Um, yeah, it doesn't even say if I put, put the screen back on yet at this point. Yeah, these instructions are... We'll get there. I'm almost there. Um, so let's solder this on. Then put the screen on it, or should I do the screen first? Who knows? Can't wait to be confident enough. You can see I'm oozing with confidence right at the moment. Yeah, let me solder this on before I put the screen on, because I don't want to I don't want to f my screen up. So let's solder this on. I'm confident in this part, and this wire is not going to come off. So let's solder this on. And let's go just like the smallest teeny baby bit of flux. That's way too much. There's cat hair on it, so you know it's from me. Tiny baby, tiny baby flux. Littlest, tiniest flux. Make sure you route it correctly, like, just through here, like, the only way you can possibly route it. I think that's right. Alright, where's baby solder? Baby solder. Baby solder. Do, 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 do. No, this, that's right, this solder sucks. <laughs> I won't use it. It does actually do a terrible job. On, it's on. What's up with the solder? Why is this doing this? I mean, it's gonna work, but my god, this shit is like giving me nothing but. Did I wipe the tip? Probably not. That's probably what's going on. I'm like, what's coming off on here? Why does this look like crap? is this? What's happening? I'm confused. I mean, it's on. It's not coming off, but... It's just not pretty. I'm like, this could be pretty. Oh yeah, stop. Yeah, it's been doing this for so long that I'm like, kind of like losing my brain here. Yeah, let's tin it first. Yeah, see that one went so much better. I don't know what the deal was with this guy, but this guy is being super mad. 
baby shark doop 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 why was that stuck in my head what's what is life yeah i don't know what this what's going on with this part of the solder but it's not being cool but it's cleaned off now but it's cleaned off now so we'll just tip it and rip it Tip it and rip it. Is that a thing? Am I just making shit up? I don't know. Whatever. That's on. It's on. It's fucking on. It's gonna have plenty of connection. We're good. Let's call it a day. Let's call it a day on that one. So, now we need to go to Vibro. So this is good here. And it's giving me a little bit of strain relief. Let's go to about there. Where are my clippers? Fuck. If I cut this too short, I might cry. Yeah, strip that, hook that to there, and we'll be in good shape. A little extra wire ain't gonna hurt nobody. A little bit of wire. And now I do have another tip for this that I want to use. So let's clean this one off. Take off my stand. And then let's give this like a few seconds to cool down. But I have another tip that I want to use. Uh, is it going to start a fire? Is it going to start a fire? No. Oh, we're going to leave it in. There we go. Leave it in there. So I've got a brand new teeny tiny baby tip. We're gonna use that one. Because that's the one I wanna use. Um, I'm gonna do like such, such a small, such a small amount of flux. Let me tin this tip up and then we're gonna do like the babiest amount, babiest amount. Am I on, I'm not on, turn on. This thing's so cool. It heats up so fast. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Alright, it's a brand new tip, so we're going to need to tin it pretty good to start off with. Yeah, it doesn't want to take solder right now. Here we go. Got some tinning on there. Be really careful to not splash. Alright, that's good there. I'm going to wipe off the excess because that's too much still. And then the tiniest, tiniest little bit of solder. Tiniest little bit. I'm gonna go right to the vibro patch. This might be too small of a tip. Yeah, this might be too small. Yeah, because I can't actually make connection with it. Okay, so go back to the other one. We can do that. Ow, it's still hot. Fuck, that's still hot. Holy crap. Man, soldering iron tips get hot. There we go. Put that. There we go. This one's a little bit, it's got a, so I was touching it. The tip of it was just a little bit too wide. And it, or not wide, too small. Oops, let me get back in frame here. too much way too much flux <laughs> nah it's fine there we go 
solders on the vibro point. And then I'm going to change up to the holders. Because this is important. This is probably one of the more important parts of this. It's not like destructive. I want it to be about here. So here, here. Okay, that works too. And here. And then here. That's pretty solid. Right, right. Whoop. Now the fun part. Actually, let me grab my tweezies. Tweezers. Fibro's right there. And then. It's on. Yep, that's on. 100%. If anybody thinks it's not on, it's on. Yeah, I can't pull it off. I'll pull the pad off. So there's that. All right, so the next step is, yeah, because that's got, it's perfect. And now we need to solder, um, hey, thanks Benzie for the sub. Much appreciate you. Hydration time. Let me start my, my recording. Let's record. All right. So that goes there. That goes there. Then I need to connect the negative terminal to some other stuff. That seems to not matter quite as much. So negative is going to go to... Um, RFID carrier? Is that what it is? So this needs to go to connect negative contact of the backlight to ground pads with wire or square bit of mask and short negative with the ground polygon near three. The ground polygon near three? What ground polygon are we talking about? I see no ground polygon. That's interesting. Yo, Zebro. Yeah, DM me. I can move this over here so I can actually see what's going on. Yeah, because I have no idea. This step's like pretty rando. This is, what is, what am I looking at here? What on earth are these pictures? Yeah, to that ground. There's, what, there's, so the pictures, all the pictures make it look like those two small pillows right there are... Oh, bottom right one. Oh, the bottom right one. Okay, there we go. See, like, you can't tell from any of the pictures. And on Zebro's picture and in the one in the, in the instructions, they're, like, bridged. Is it bridged or not? Like, I'm confused. Bottom right. So let me do this. phone doing okay nothing right, so let's reorganize this there's my camera streamlabs here we go so we need to go to this little guy right here and then why solder something to it so let's do that So grab our wire, and let's cut this first. Leave it a little long. Um, there we go. This needs to be shorter. Um, do that. There we go. Fine if it's bridged. Okay. Let's 
trying to figure out the best holding method for this because obviously it's super freaking awkward. Okay. Oh, I should tin this wire. Or, uh, actually, I don't need to tin the wire. Let's tin the tip of this thing. It'll be okay. So, um, let's get that right where I want it. Tin you. Right where I want it. There's too much on here. Ah, oh, it fell. Shit. This is the challenge with some of the soldering stuff. It gets to be like, how do I hold my hands to make this work right? Teeny bit of solder on the tip of this thing. Teeniest bit. Oh god, this is so difficult. Fucking hell. Can I just clip this in place? Like, is that a thing? Let's see if I can use the arm to clip it in place. Make life a little easier. Do 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 do. Wiggle arm, wiggle arm. Baby, why are you fucking bitch getting up fucking here? There we go. There we go. Let's go just a little scooch. Actually, I can scooch the board probably easier than I can scooch this. That's right, right on there. Little teeny tiny bit of fodder. Not a good one. Let's back off on that a little bit. Alright, did we actually solder anything here? No, not really. This is like the uh, the last hard part to do, and then we're good. Let's see if we can get just like infinitely small amount of flux. Clean this out really well. go. Let's get this to touch here. It's going to have to go down like so. No more solder on my soldering iron. Right. Right. 
So the problem with the third hand, or this helping hand, is it it's flexing. So it's actually spring-loading everything. So it's kind of being a bit of a problem at the moment, if I'm being totally honest. This is kind of making my life not easier. Because, like, I can't get it to actually stay where it needs to be. This would also be, like, substantially, substantially easier if I wasn't filming it. So keep that in mind if you're ever actually thinking about doing this. The whole filming part makes this so much harder. So I've got, like, seven lights on me. I've got two cameras that are in the way. So, again, keep that in mind if you are planning on doing this. Because that's making my life suck a lot right now. To the point where I'm not really sure what to do because I can't get anything to line up with these fucking cameras in the way. Yeah, it's true. Oh god, get the fuck over here. Jesus. Arg, let's get back in here. You also didn't do the first one that you did while filming, so keep that in mind too. Yeah, I know, right? It's not good unless you drop stuff everywhere. It's so awkward. All of my angles are, like, so freaking awkward. This is why I don't like cutting wires before you install them, because then you end up with, like, this awkward-ass stuff. Like, what is this? What is life here? I'm pretty sure that's fucked. There we go. Now that's cleaned off. Teeny bit of solder. Get it right on the pen. Right there. And then... Fucking brutal piece of wire right here. I think I'm doing this upside down. I think that's part of my issue here. Let's do this the other way. I feel like this is going to be way easier. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like this. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, fucking hell, stop doing that. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the right tip for this or not. It's definitely, definitely being problematic. I'm... Now I can't reflow this piece. So I'm gonna have to drop flux on it. Clean 
find out. <clears throat> nah, I'm good. I'm just cleaning shit. Just this one spot doesn't want to, like, doesn't want to chill. can't get it to reflow right there, which is why I'm like struggling so bad. Why is this not reflowing? What if I just fucking solder a wire to it? Let's see what happens. Reflow that and get that off. Thank you. Was it that hard? And I'm melting my other wire, so that's fun too. Alright, solder. Flux. Here, get you there. Get rid of most of the excess. Bottom pad. Get that nice and on there like that. And then just ever so lightly. Bridge everything. Why does it keep doing that? I don't understand why that's doing that every time. This is a uh, TS-100. giving me nothing but every single problem. It's so weird. I don't understand. I've literally never had this issue on anything, any project before. Where like, I just, the solder is just turning to, into absolute shit. I don't get it. That's weird. It's weird and frustrating. Here, I'm just gonna use a longer wire. Too long. I gotta cut that at the end. I have incredibly shit solder, so that's basically my biggest issue right now, probably. It's my solder is just terrible. So, yep. But, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna move forward and we're gonna do whatever we're doing right here. Hopefully, hopefully we can make progress and get this thing stuck on here. I'm like tempted to just. Clean everything out here. solder wick. Let me find my solder wick because I need to clean this thing. This one one single solder point is the stumbling point of all of this. Everything else was pretty easy. And I was just being slow with it. But this is this is getting dumb. Here we go. Solder wick.
Bye. Um, where are my scissors? Where are, where's everything? I have so many things all over this room now. That's clean. All right, come on. Come on, stupid stuff. Uh, is this thing broken now? My clip not stay on? It should. that. Grab some solder. Let's tin the tip of this. Yeah, just this solder is not gonna cut it. Yeah, I've been over segmenting it. We're good, but thanks for the heads up. I don't get why I can't get any. It's like this one spot. This doesn't make any sense in, at all. Everything else was fine, and it's just this one spot it will not fucking work right. At least my pads are okay. Like, I haven't, nothing's bad. Nothing's fucked up too bad, but. Yeah, these are all still fine. I just need to get, like, the world's smallest drop of solder on that pad and a wire attached to it, and then we're done. Literally, we're done. Oh, yeah, let's get solder on here first. This is this fucking hell, it's just trash. Buy good solder, folks. I never really cared. It was never really an issue until it was. And now it's just like, what is this? What is this trash? It's literally unusable for this. I'm so, so frustrated. Hmm. Like, it literally melts like fucking silly putty. Working at different angles here. Uh, 
All right, flux it up. I'll flux it up. I will do that. I agree. Here's a bunch of flux right here. I pull the cap off? No. It's getting fucked though. Like, I'm getting a little bit disconcerted at the moment. Because these pins keep bridging. I keep burning this wire. Like, everything that could go wrong kind of is. And this last step, the last step for this project. Yes, this is definitely crap solder. It absolutely is crap solder. I'm aware. I know it sucks. It's not a good time. I wouldn't recommend it. Not at all. Not at all. Like, I'm gonna switch this tip out too. Like, this tip is just being really, really hard to work with for some reason. Let's reset. Let's reset this. I need to use a different tip. I'm not sure what the deal is with it, but that tip is like just not able to melt anything. All it's doing is bridging stuff. Like it's just not working. It's not sharp enough. Yeah, that tip's been through some shit, that's for sure. I know everybody hates when I use this one, but it works. It's got good surface amounts, and I can control it really well. So, this is what we're going to use, because I'm comfortable with it. burning, so that's fun too. Let's clean that off. Just a little flux. Sorry, I'm not being particularly interesting in the moment because this is kind of the frustrating hard part that I'm trying to get through so we can keep being entertaining. Without this part, nothing's going to be entertaining because this is the last step, the last step that we have to do. And then we're done. We'll put it all back together.
up melting that wire even more. Jesus H. Fuck you. Put that down. I can't even see, which also sucks. Like, nobody can see. I can't even use the camera to see. Hmm. Hmm. What do we do now? At some point, this is just needless violence. Like, can I chip this part off? I just need to get this one little teeny part off and I'll be okay. I'm not 100% <clears throat> sure what to do at this point, guys. Uh, I'm kind of at a bit of a standstill where I can't get anything to work. I can't get this to flow again. I can't get anything actually working on this. I'm just stuck and I'm, I can't unmelt this. Like, it's just not doing anything. I really don't really know what to do. Yeah, the scope would be really nice. I have flux, but the problem is I'm just making a mess. The flux isn't actually melting anything anymore. Like, this shit's so fucked up. Yeah, put the iron down, take a step. Unfortunately, that's not an option for today, so you're gonna have to just soldier on. Let's see what happens. Soldier on and see what the fuck happens. Big mess. Big fucking mess. I got him cleaned off. What's up, Zebro? You gonna jump to a different ground? Yeah, let's do that. Why the fuck am I doing this then? This is getting all trashed. Yeah, why don't I go to a different ground? Yeah, I literally can't see at all, which sucks. I wonder if I can just macro lens this. Yeah, it's looking rough. But... It's not broken, so it should be fine. All right, join VC. I don't have, I don't think I have this, and let me see what happens. Let 
Where is VC? Join VC and mute Discord. Hey, what's going on? I don't think I can. Uh, desktop audio is off. Yeah, there's no desktop audio. But you'll be picked up on my mic. Yes, where's another uh, ground I can use? Like, if it's not in that fourth pair right there, that's the, my, the, my main challenge. Sorry, you got it one at a time. What? Because Vibro looks fine. Yeah, because those four pins are like the four tiniest pins of all time. It's like not being not being cool. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, that looks pretty bad, but I think it's okay. I can't even tell. I'll just... Yeah, that's still fine. I don't think it's shorted. Yeah, GPIO. Well, I can look at... Um... Okay, so this is this. This is right. This is that. No, this is this way. Wait, and it's this way. That's what I'm looking at. So pin 8 is this guy. Yeah, why don't you just do that from the beginning? That's like a thousand times easier. Yeah. But, I mean, you can jump to pin eight. Yeah, this is... Yeah, pin eight's way easier. Like, way easier. Yeah, that's not as nice. It's fine, though. Yeah, let's go to pin eight. Let me move this around. I'm using whatever free solder I got, yeah. Yeah, that's my other problem. Yeah, it's just terrible solder. It's never been an issue before, but apparently with this one, now that we're doing like small stuff, it's just like. Well, yet, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let me re reconfigure. So we're gonna go to GPIO um, ground on here. So that's gonna be our new plan. It's gonna be substantially, substantially easier than what we're doing right now. It's right there. Yeah. So. What's up? Oh yeah, I know. That's the whole point. Let's see. So this goes. Th this goes this way. So ground is eight, right? Right. Right. Wrong. Nope. It's this way. There we go. So this one, yeah. This guy right there is ground. I can always cut the wire again. Yeah, that's easy. Alright, so let's go back. Let's add a little bit of solder to this pad. Yeah, this is going to be a hundred times easier. That's warm. just doesn't want to flow. It's so bad. Yeah, we'll definitely invest in some better solder because that's going to work. It's not going to be pretty. I mean, I could get solder, but I do appreciate that. Right now, it's not really going to help me. No. But, yeah, this is now that we're on pin 8, this is going to be so much easier. Like, way, way, way easier. Um, you tin this. I mean, it should be fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. I don't see why I don't see why I'm just coming out. Did you knock the capacitor off on that little block? I don't think so. If it came off, I would have noticed it coming off, so I'm pretty sure we're in good shape here. 
And then... Yeah, we cannot see anything on stream. What's up? Yeah, we can't see anything on stream. What, it's too small? Yeah, I know. God damn, it's so hard to work on these things. I do not recommend this mod. If you're not pretty dedicated to at least having the right soldering stuff. Because, yeah, I just don't have the right kind of solder. And it's like, I'm like, fucked. Yeah, anybody, yeah, you'll probably break it. It's fine. Nice. The other thing is I'm soldering on a keyboard thing. So it slides. Now, why are you doing that? Because I have to film this shit. We don't have to. Yeah, I have to film everything. It's literally it's my job. That's why we're here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's why I had to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to do this. But yeah, you guys can't even hear the other half of the thing. It's funny. Arg. Cool. Awesome. So that's good. That looks like hell. That's such a bad solder point, but like I literally can't... Oh, they're not. Yeah, that's no problem. But yeah, it just sucks because, um, yeah, I wish I had better solder. This would have been so much easier with better solder. It's just not melting the way it, way it should. And yeah, if I like lean on this, um, this thing at all, my keyboard moves. This thing sl slides. So you have to be like super careful to not do that. All right, so this goes to negative, right? So negative's right here, right? That's the negative one. How can you, well, yeah, what's, hold on, where's, where's back? Oh uh, yeah, I can, I wonder if I can fix, I can try to refocus, but um, the problem is I'm on like two different axes. That's worse. Yeah, I appreciate that. Alright, cool. That's in that way. So let's cut this. How much? Yeah. in the wire tinny 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 got him let's flux the point Yeah, that was the original setup. Yeah, ground doesn't give a shit. Fucking honey badger ground. Yeah, I'm, I was wondering that myself. Alright, that's on, right? So, if this is good, that's pinned, that's pinned, that's good. I should be able to proof a concept this, right? Yep, from... Yeah, I made my own, actually. I, so, for this project, I made... Um, yeah, I made it with Rogue Master. But I knew the um, thing wasn't on, so that was good. Eh, ah, because... For reasons. Alright, so let's put the screen on. Here we go. Reintroduce the screen. Yeah, I'll try not to break anything else. There we go. Place this ever so gently. 
There we go. I got a small fingerprint on it and nothing to wipe it off with, so... I guess that's gonna stay the way it is for the moment. There we go. We're gonna go like this. And then like that, and then this will go in there. I'm assuming that's in all the way. Yeah, I've got a whole roll of spare solder just rolled up in the top corner. Yup. Didn't I send you some solder? No, you sent me some wire. I sent I sent somebody some solder. Alright. Alright. There's that. Screen. Let me give it the old belly rub. Yeah. Okay, that kinda worked. Alright, um, so. All I need to do is plug in the battery and the SD card, right? Well, I don't need the, even need the SD card, just the battery, right? And we can proof a concept this. Battery goes this way. Don't short anything, okay. Oh, it's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. Holy fuck. Ah, it's not fucking broken. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It works. How can it not work? Ugh. And these buttons don't work without reassembling it anyway, so. Ah. Just what a press on them. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna press on him with my screwdriver. No. Alright. The ribbon cable's not in all the way? I think it is. I can double check, but... I'm gonna... Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna trigger the fuck out of everybody again with my um, haphazard screwdriver -y. I don't got any nails. Cut my nails this morning so I could look presentable. Uh, this way. See? It's fine. I can use screwdriver. Whoops. Flashy, flashy. Oh my god, please don't break that with that one guy. Oh my god. Break what? Oh, actually, what do I, I, all I have to do is put this back together. Um, so, actually, I can clip this down. Right? I don't have anything else to do back here, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, that clips... That clips in there. That goes here. This is good. That's lined up. Stop touching the screen, you idiot. Stop it. And then... It's so much easier. That little four pack. Yeah, that four pack is terrible. Don't do that. That's just frustrating, man. I got so mad at that thing. Yeah, see? I'm not the only one who has stupid problems with stupid things. Um... Yeah, it's a it's a wire. It's not a big deal. Like, all right. Um, is that it's not on yet though. Like, this isn't clipped in all the way. There's a few little weird pins that need to line up that don't. I think. Yeah. Once you take the um thing off, it doesn't go on like it did. Oh yeah. I don't. It's not as strong as it was. 
I feel like I should be able to get this back in because I still the pins are all still there. And you also Oh, yeah. Actually, let me go. Yeah, let me follow the um, iFixit teardown. Yeah, why don't you find a that? <laughs> why do I follow the instructions? Oh, I saw the video of it. Yeah, I saw her video. Gotta give the old breath, breath wipe. Eh. Yeah, I saw I saw her video. Somebody was actually in the official um, in official firmware at one point talking about how they tore their their flipper down and linked her video. It was the funniest thing I'd seen for a while. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's clipped in. Now it's got to wiggle this thing. I think that's in. Yeah, getting all these little pins to line up is definitely a little like annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the little pins. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing too. Cause right now they're ah, there it goes. Clicky. Although the right one is a little bit less. That's good. That's good. That's good. The. Okay. Yeah, they do click, they're just not as clicky. Yeah, once you screw it, it'll I'm gonna disconnect my soldering iron, because that's done. Um, where's my my drive screwer? And then these are separate button chassis, that bar, that screw, and that screw. Erma Gerd, a Gerd screwdriver. One, two. Yeah, once people realized I wasn't gonna break it, they're like, yeah, okay, cool. Sorry, we're done, we're out. I told you, like, I was going to be totally fine with releasing a I Broke My Flipper video. The problem was, I had to actually go through the process of breaking the flipper, and I was like, I wonder if this is the moment. I wonder if now is the time. Hey, from Utah, what's up? Time to hydrate. It's hot as fuck in here. Nah, but I'll check it, yeah. Hold on, that part's in. And then I reattach the battery. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the battery. Oh yeah, once you screwed it in, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect now. Um, all those ribbon cables I disconnected though, I'm gonna need those back, right? Do I though? I mean, um, iButton. Uh, iButton. You know what? I could, <laughs> could kind of give a shit about iButton, but that's okay. That's why I was like, oh, if I break the pogo pins, it's whatever. Did you break? No. I don't know how you break the pogo pins. Well, I know exactly how you do it, but like, you gotta kind of be ham fisted. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, AirPop Control. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. It really does help out the channel because I just was able to buy a B camera because of support from viewers like you. Uh, you can get some good soldering. <laughs> never again. I'm never soldering anything ever again in my life. 
we're, we're done. I quit. I quit soldering. This was free solder. It's free. It was free, though. I didn't pay th for it. Fuck, stop touching the screen, you idiot. Why do you keep doing that? Fuck. God. Actually, there's, I may just triple check that. Okay, there's no more, no more ribbons that need to be unribboned. All right. That's in. Yeah, these little pins are definitely going to be a pain in the ass. No, there's little. So if you're the little pins like these guys, yeah, that one almost looks like it's. Yeah, you'll see them. The little pins that are in there are tricky. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's my favorite movie slash series. I don't know, honestly. I like The Matrix and stuff like that. It's a great series. Well, I like the beginning ones, at least. Um, more so, like... Actually, I was going to put on Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas last night. One of my, one of my favorites there. Um, it's a bunch of stuff. Definitely a bunch of stuff. Why do you not want to line up? It's so fidgety. I'm so tempted to just cut these pins off. Because they are annoying me. Why? They don't do anything. They hold it together. I mean, so does the clamshell. It's not going to fall apart. I'll hot glue it. Don't. I'll, I'll hot glue this together if I have to. Yup. Fixed forever. Like, is that even lined up? Is that right? It's so finicky. Like, why won't this line up? Every part of this gets a little bit more, like, dodgy. This should be easy part. Yeah, I mean, it will, but, like, they don't, li they're not, like, kind of lining up. I don't want to force them. weird though. I feel like it should be a little bit more a little bit more easy. I don't want to push too hard on this thing. Well, that clipped in. And then there's that one, there's that one, and then like it's so close. Ah, there it is. There's all of them. There's all of them. Battery I'll leave out for a second. Plug this back in. Then I get to edit. Yay! Although this will be a pretty easy edit because... It'll just be flashing forward through the important parts. I'm not going to bother testing I button right now. Um, this is to... What's up? I button tags? No. So let's fire it up again. And make sure that everything that's supposed to work, works. Why is my battery so... What? <laughs> That's weird. Oh my god, that fingerprint. Need an SD card. You don't need an SD card. Um, although I can put my SD card in there. Yeah, don't dox me with my fingerprints. Get out of here. Stop reading it. Alright, so let's test out... Oh, <laughs> an idiot. I'm like, I don't need an SD card. I'm like, yes, I do. I'm testing to make sure everything works. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So let's, let's kill this. Off. Alright. So that's plugged in. Let's put the pogo sticks. Actually, let me just follow my instructions. Uh, remove battery, remove battery, remove lace mounts. I didn't need to do that. Short screw. 
I don't think I have anything else on here to do. I can put the pogos back in. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna be hard to put the case back on with the SDN. There you go. And then pogo is one screw, right? Yeah, Pogo is one screw. One screw Pogo. Uh, I'm getting Flipper, what's the first thing do I know? <laughs> I'm getting a Flipper, what's the first thing I, I should do when I get it? This, do this. The first day you get a, a Flipper, do this mod. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Watch some of my first videos, actually, because um, it gives you a really good idea of what it can do, and it might get you interested in certain things that will like make you try to do more stuff. That's what I would recommend if you're just just first getting it. Um, let's see, disconnect, reconnect. Wow! Hey, thanks for subscribing, Justin. Much appreciate you. All right, cool. I think I'm just back to the putting it back together together part. Right, because I only have... Oh, I have one more screw. Where does this one more screw go? I know I have two more screws. Um, okay. That goes there. That goes there. Well, there's plenty of holes to put screws in, so I'm not too concerned. Um, those four for the case. So where do these last two? Where do these two screws go to? Oh, short screw, short, short screw. Gotcha. Got him. The carbon fiber skin is from Lily, actually. And Lily, interestingly enough, is going to be doing a limited run of talking Sasquatch skins. That's not right. Um, oh, this has to be on first. Right? Is that how this works? Yes. Last chance to clean this. I don't have extra parts, Crunchy. They're not extra. They're unnecessary. I re-engineered this project so I don't need the screws that I didn't use. It's is fine. Alright, cool. That's attached. There's one more screw right here. Oh shoot. Short screw, short screw. I hope these are both short screws. I mean what is what is short? What does short mean? Feels like a long screw though. This doesn't feel like the right size screw. I'm a little confused. This feels like a long screw. I mean, that's all I have left, so. How long is this screw? Yeah, this one's short. Where did my other short screw go? I'm wondering if I accidentally got the wrong screw when I put something in. Let me uh, take a step backwards here real quick. Um, when was my last long screw? Short screw. Short screw, put those back, put those back. Those are all short screws, those are short screws. Interesting. Why do I have long screw when I should have short screw? That's new and exciting. Or am I putting it in the wrong spots? Let's see what I did wrong. Short screw, short screw. Um, 
Now the case screws, I have four of, and they're all the long ones. I'm just stuck, I'm left over with this one long screw, which doesn't feel, whoops, careful. Doesn't feel right to me. This stuff, I guess. Is the vibro supposed to be long? I think the vibro is a short screw too. Yeah, that's a short screw. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then how do I have an extra long screw? That is the question. Let me take the pogos back out and take a step backwards really quickly. Um, is this attached? Shouldn't be, right? No, it's attached. What did we screw this in? Oh, right here. Whoops. That's another short screw. Another short screw. Not attached, not attached, not attached. There we go, it kind of comes off. Still clean, still good. That goes there, yeah, I'm confused. I shouldn't have a long screw, but I have a long screw. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Put this back in place. Good, good, good. Can I long screw this guy? <laughs> Following backwards instructions. Clips, I button, short screw goes there, install the cables, disconnect the battery, and then there's two short screws for chassis stuff, but I have a long screw for something, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, it's really fucking dumb. Whatever. Let's put these all back together. Short screw, short screw. Is this tight? Yes, that's tight. And then this is other short screw, it's supposed to go here. Like, that could fit a long screw. I feel like this one goes here, and it's like one of those weird things, right? No, it's definitely not, because it catches threads so early. Hmm, mm, well, that's going to go there. That'll go there. This will go here. I mean, it's in there. It ain't falling out. That's just clipped in place, so that's normal. And then, now it's just putting the chassis back on. Without breaking my GP, my Pogos. I mean, this is just, I can change all that too. Yeah. Pogos work. Although this doesn't close quite as far as it needs to right there, so I might need to reevaluate something. Something's a little bit off. Where's my other guitar pick? This guy. Those are not clipped quite right. Yeah, it's. I think we're gonna be fine without whatever it was. This will be good. didn't break anything. This seems like it's not quite high enough, but the buttons all seem right. So why was this being naughty? 
That's all good. That's all good. Everything looks fine. Like, this doesn't really go in any further. So, that's weird. SD card's not in. SD card lines up. It's got to be right. I think there's just... Yeah, why is there a gap there? Yeah, there's like a tiny gap. Why tiny gap? I wonder I wonder if it's that long screw that I put in and it's hitting something. I bet you it is. Why are there long screws left? I mean, I don't think so. Let's see. Whoops, almost there. Let's not break. Yeah, I have like, well, I'm, I have one, uh, I feel like I have one less screw. Pogo's still in there. Um, vibro motor, that's good there. That screw is that screw. That goes, oh fuck, that's what I did. Yeah, I picked the wrong, picked the wrong hole. I done, done put the wrong hole. Yeah, that goes there and that goes there. I wonder if that's where the long screw goes. I know you don't believe in the legend of the long screw, but around these parts. How? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's where this goes. That's where that goes. There's a screw poking out the front of my flipper. Cool. <clears throat> Figured it out. It says on the diagram, short screw, short screw, but mine is definitely short screw, long screw. I don't know. Don't care. Oh, and it fits together again. Flippy Boy is back. And f yep. Yeah, exactly. The bat, the two edges of the cases uh, apart, so that um, it's gonna look better. Who's the girl Morty sticker? That is uh, Doctor Girlfriend Morty. That is the Adventure Brothers reference. If you've never heard of Adventure Brothers, uh, go find that shit immediately and put it on. Just don't turn my stream off. Yeah. I mean, we didn't have control, nothing would show up, so. Exactly, yeah. It's it's all or nothing with this kind of thing. Alright, we're on. And we're gonna go to let's go to settings, L C D. I use the patch file on the latest version of Rogue Master, so here's all my cool colors. Yeah, so I use my own my own firmware. Well, I use Rogue Master firmware, but I did build it myself. Um, so, we're going to go to RFID. And then, what do I have that's RFID? Where do my cards go? I haven't done it yet, but um, which one of these is RFID? Those are my NFC cards. Yeah. What did I have that was RFID? Um, I would like shoot. I think I did give Amelia all my RFID stuff. Uh oh. Um, let's. 
yeah. Hey, just fire! It didn't break that. Okay, actually, this will work too. Um, where did that go? Here we go. Um, uh, if I do this guy, this will tell me. I could exit. So let's go to RFID read, and then this should light up. There we go. Yeah, it works. Now we're good. 125 kilohertz. So, oh, actually, um, I have uh, with the Kektronics board. I'm already sending you like a bunch of stuff. There we go. Read. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fucked up. There's a jumper in here. There we go. All right. So, hey, it works. That was way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. This thing's been through some shit. All right, let me stop this one. All right, exit. All right. All right, so that was the uh, RGB mod. It was definitely not the easiest thing in the world. Ran into some issues. However, we did figure out that by hooking the GPIO ground up instead of using the NFC ground, that worked a lot easier. Um, but yeah, it works. I didn't break anything. It got a little dicey. Um, I'm not the only one who thought there was a good chance that this was going to go sideways, but yeah, it worked awesome. There's going to be a link down in the, in the description for the dis Discord <laughs> for the GitHub with this. You can tell I've been at this for a while now. Um, and yeah, definitely come check that out. Um, I know Zebra is trying to get a stop going together if you want to try this. Um, it's not easy. Don't have crap solder. If I learned anything through this process, don't have crap solder. I've been literally making stuff with crap solder for forever. But crap solder makes crap solder points and it makes it really hard to solder to PCBs. Um, is it dangerous to try to make one? Yes, it's very dangerous to try to make one. But look how freaking cool that is. That's so cool. And I'm really looking forward to um, the new uh, case from Lily. Because I leave these, this guy in here. So, like, let's get you to the final look. Get in there. Stretch. Give it the old stretchy boy. Ah, and it still looks cool. So cool. So, thanks all for hanging in there with me. It's been a long stream. Like... A long stream. Do I have a time? I don't see an overall time here, but oh, three hours. So about three hours installing this um, with some, you know, hanging out time. But thank you so much, everybody, for checking out. Let me know if you want me to do more streams. Um, hopefully, less frustrating than this one, but you know, this is something I wanted to do for a long time and totally worth it. So. Thanks a lot for being there, and yeah, hop into our Discord. We're gonna be doing some giveaways. Also, um, real quick thing, we're gonna start introducing kind of a uh, mad scientist style role. Um, make sure you drop into the, um, uh, what did I decide we wanted to put it into? Um, um, which channel? I should remember which channel this was. Uh, showcase, yeah, drop it into the Showcase channel. Um, some of the cool stuff you're doing and if it's impressive, it's cool and we think that you might be able to handle some higher level stuff You might get into some cool giveaways. So make sure to check that out, too um, Again, thanks so much for hanging in there with that. It's kind of fun hanging out, but um, yeah We'll see you next time. Take it easy <laughs>